In this tutorial, we're going to have a quick look at how you can use the spreadsheet function on your GDC <clears throat> to estimate either the mean or the standard deviation for a set of data. Um, in this case, we're going to be doing an estimation of the mean because we can see that each of our lengths, each of our data in this particular question is in uh, bands. So we have to estimate that all of this, all of these bits of data, all 30 pieces of this data are at the five centimeter length halfway in between. So we take the midpoints, put all of those into the calculator, and then all the frequencies as well. And it's a good idea to write down what those midpoints were on your um, uh, on your test, on your exam paper, so that the examiners can see that you've calculated that correctly and that you recognise that midpoints were necessary. Because obviously the one problem that you have when you type something into a graphical calculator is there's not too many ways of showing the working that you've actually done and if you make a mistake, if you type something incorrectly you can lose a lot of marks very quickly. Um, so I've typed all those in already onto the spreadsheet and you can see I've given headings of length and frequency to each of those columns. I'm now going to go on to menu, statistics, stat calculations and this is one variable statistics because only one thing is being measured here, the length Sure, there's two columns, there's frequency as well, but frequency isn't something that's being measured. It's just the length that's being measured. So one variable statistics. What we're then going to do is tell it that the X1 list, so the, the thing that was actually being measured, was the length. The frequency list, we're going to change here because we want it to know that the frequency column is where to look for the frequencies. The results can go in column C, that's OK because that's not overwriting any of my data. So I can click OK. And we can see that it's given me all the statistics I need there. So this symbol here, X bar, denotes the mean. So the mean is 29.8. You won't need any of these ones here. Next one of interest is this one here, sigma X. That denotes standard deviation. Okay, so for the standard level course, this is the one we use. We don't ever use this one up here, always this one down here. So that's going to be 19.8. N, the number of bits of data, is 200. That's quite a good check to do, to have a look at the value of n and ensure that it does come to the total frequency, the total number of pieces of data. Um, because if you've accidentally forgotten to add in the frequency, you'll see that this number is much lower than you're expecting. So that's quite a good check to do. Min x, the lowest value of x. Q1 is the lower quartile, the 25% bit of data. Median, obviously the 50 percentile. Um, 75th percentile, uh, Q3, upper quartile and then the maximum value. So from all of this we can derive any of the values we need. For this particular question we were asked for the standard deviation so we would just put down 19.8